One Man Commission of Enquiry visited Mukro for Ground Zero investigation on 28th of December. Awareness program on drugs abuse prevention against at Lahorijan on 28th of December. Awareness on modern technology on airy systematic food plantation and scientific rearing technology organized on 28th of December. Good morning viewers, you are watching Carbing Long Life English Prime Time. On 28th of December, one man commission of inquiry headed by retired Guwahati High Court Judge Rumi Kumari Pukon set up by the government of Assam visited the site of the firing incidents that happened at Mukro on 22nd of November. One month ago, a firing incident broke out at Mukro, Assam Meghalaya border reasons after a truck illegally loaded with illegal filled timbers was intercepted by Assam Forest Department. Six people, including a forest guard of Assam, was also killed during the incident. To find out the factual findings of the incidents, a single-person committee of inquiry was constituted by the government of Assam on 22nd of December under the Justice Rumi Kumari Pukon, retired judge of Guwahati High Court, to investigate the firing incidents at Mukro falling under the jurisdiction of Jirikindeng Police Station, West Karbianglong District. During the Ground Zero visits of investigation, Deputy Commissioner of West Karbianglong, DIG, SP, DFO, CI, Forest Rangers, KSA, various socials and students' organizations gave their testimonies at the Irrigation Inspection Bango at Dongkamukam. Justice Rumi Kumari Pukon, retired judge of Guwahati High Court, while speaking to us, informed that public hearing would be conducted against all persons or organizations have knowledge of the facts and circumstances relating to the firing incidents at Mukro to appear and submitted their statement. Uh, to Paisu, uh, reporter. The proper verification hole, I mean, no? and Hexton and Deke Buzar, Dekar, Tavaleco, taken a salu incident to court whistle, dead body court by Silakinia meta, a stock to Lulu, Tapsotami on the basis of evidence, Hakiba de Kikoi, Tapsotami complete visualized Korean. Something in this report from Zirikinding for Carbon Long Life. On 28th of December, District Legal Services Authority Karbianglong, in collaboration with Khatkhati VDP Police Station Committee and Yuwa Sanstha NGO jointly organized one day awareness program on drugs abuse prevention at Lahorijan Inspection Banglo Complex. The program was chaired by Dhiraj Chetri, SDB, and the objective of the program was briefed by Vijaya Khaklari. Dr. Amol Bhisya attended as the chief guest of the event. Pradeep Timung, social activist Suren Singh, President Khatkhati PS, VDP, Manik Singh, Secretary Rajiv Bora, SI Khatkhati Police Station, and Kasep Pol, advocate, attended as a guest of the event. Rigorously discussing among the guests and participants were made with regards to make an end of drug smuggling along Karbianglong and Nagaland border area with special reference to Lahorijan and Khatkhati areas. It was informed that the concerned citizens of those areas are finding difficulties in monitoring unidentified individuals in the regions as it is close to the state of Nagaland. The citizens adopted a resolution to make an end to the peddling of drugs from the area at any cost. If anyone is caught while doing, stern action would be taken as per the law. Anantirang's report from Bokajan for Carbian Long Live. On 28th of December, Office of Superintendent of Sericulture Dipu organized an awareness program on modern technology on airy systematic food plantation and scientific rearing technology for the financial year 2022 to 2023 at Japra Langso Cultural Hall. With a vision to aware the villagers on the use of implementations of modern technologies in our daily routine to enhance our lifestyle. Office of Superintendent of Sericulture Dipu organized an awareness program on modern technology on airy systematic food plantation and scientific rearing technology for the financial year 2022 to 2023 at Japra Langso Cultural Hold on 28th of December. The awareness program was chaired by Raki Tisopi, Extension Officer of Sericulture Department, accompanied by Robindra Hanse Demonstrator, Longkiri Inki Demonstrator, Bisnu Das Demonstrator, Potul Kachari Demonstrator, and Sapnam Inki Demonstrator. More than 185 women benefited 
a rearing tree from the awareness program. Rakit, the SOPI Extension Officer of the Agriculture Department, while speaking to us, informed that the civil lines had been rearing every in a very old method. Hence, they are here to make them aware with the use of modern technology. They had also recently conducted an awareness program at Hanjang Langsu. Oh, we have come here to make aware to the people uh, about modern technology on agriculture and also have uh, made them aware how to rear uh, airy uh, using modern technology because many people were rearing uh, airy for a long time but they did not know the main, uh, I mean the new technology. Subhas Rang report from Lang Chiting for Carbian Long Life. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.